tonight is the night of day number four uh leading into the morning of day number five we are still in antarctica um, i don't know if you guys have seen the previous video but we just took a walk around like this place called Porto point which is a very fantastic place we will be sleeping there tonight we're going to be camping so they're, they're not going to give us tents tonight you would think that right you know antarctica blah 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 but no we're actually gonna get like very insulated sleeping mats and you as you guys will see we had like a brief demonstration yesterday last night about what was going to happen today and it's gonna be exciting i'm going to be camping in antarctica we're gonna, just gonna be sleeping out into the wilderness it's gonna be a little bit hard to sleep because uh you know it's completely like bright and the sun will start setting at 11 30 ish p.m and uh, you know the sun goes up like at 3 a.m but i don't think it even gets fully dark here but it should be an amazing memory. So in this video, I'm going to be documenting and vlogging my experiences of camping in Antarctica. And you guys are here to join me on that. So let's go. Come join me. Currently, it is about... What time is it now? It is 7.14. At 7.45, they're going to call us to come meet at the, at the bottom of the ship. And they're going to take us on the Zodiac boats to go to Porto Point. So we can set up our tents and just chill there and then go to sleep. Yeah, and look, so this is gonna be the weather in Antarctica tonight where we are camping, one degree Celsius, which is about 33 and 34 degrees Fahrenheit. So generally it's gonna be pretty good unless it gets windy, which it can be. So hopefully it's not too windy and we'll just be sleeping in comfortable weathers. All right, so I just went to go get my sleeping bag. All my equipment's in here. I'll unfold it and show it to you guys later. They just called the announcement to get the campers to come down to take the Zodiac to go out to sleep to the camping site. So. Let's go. Just got off the Zodiac boat, walking up with our sleeping bags up here. It's not too bad outside, zero degrees Celsius, winds. This is the steepest part, I promise. Okay, <laughs> I got that recorded. Yay, you're right, doing great. The perimeters run a campground tonight. Going camping. Yeah, I'm going camping. Going camping the stove. Yep. One hell of a way to do it. Ignore me, I'm just just talking bullshit. Dude, it's incredible. I'm excited to see. How it goes tonight, man. I don't even know if I can sleep, bro. So we're currently in our campground. Just trying to get through to find a place to sleep tonight. But I'm like ankle deep in snow. Okay, so uh, we're all here at the campground. Here's my shit. Here's my friend's shit. Hey. He's from Indonesia, by the way. Look around. In just a second, I'm gonna take you guys around. And I'll show you the campsite, but what you see is pretty much it. But at least we can walk around it together. P.S. It's still zero degrees uh, Celsius, and it's planning to be like this, or maybe one degree throughout the entire night. Uh, he just told us that, uh, yeah, it, the sun is gonna go down just a little bit, but not other way. So we're gonna be in pretty much complete like light the entire day. But good thing I brought my sleeping mask for that, right? But I'm pretty excited. Camping here in Antarctica. This is something crazy, something memorable that I will never forget. Okay, I'll show the first person to take a piss here. So what we have, we're a little bit further away from the campsite right here, right? Surrounded by this thing, so nobody can see you where you do your business. And then here, you just open this and you take a piss or you take a crap. Here's hand sanitizer and toilet paper. 
Very cool, right? Now I'm about to step out of here and enjoy the view. Okay, so you see this area around the sleeping bags, like what my friend is doing right now. We're going to build, we're gonna dig like a, like a hole so we can put our stuff in it, or like a sleeping bag so we can sleep in it. Uh, so at least we're a little bit below like the ground surface. So if we're below the ground surface, the wind can get to us. It'll help us be more comfortable when we sleep at night. All right guys, so I'm digging. Gotta make the hole so I can sleep properly so there's no wind. Get big, die in a large coffin. Come on, Mati. Don't lazy. Dig deeper. So, after a few minutes, I made my hole, but it's kind of very unorganized. <laughs> but I think it'll be enough for me to sleep in. So. Good enough for me so i am officially shirtless in antarctica it's not windy i just shoveled this is a, this is okay uh, this is not too bad right whoa look around i'm being judged right now but you know it's kind of nice going shirtless right now this because there's no wind right now so this is okay it's not too bad it's not too bad it's decent enough. It's enough for me to sleep in. But why don't mine they look like my friends? That's the real question. So it's about 10.30 p.m. right now. And some people have already started sleeping. So I don't want to talk too loud. But, hmm? There are some of my haters over there. We are not your haters. Can you tell me where you found all the hater raid, please? Where did you find all the Haterade? Haterade. <laughs> okay, so now mine looks nothing like your you guys' beds, but I am honestly not even cold. I know. Like honestly, there's like zero winds right now, so it's super peaceful. 33, 34 degrees. It's actually pretty warm, and it's actually warmer than it is in my home city in Reno, Nevada. But right now, since everyone is kind of going to sleep, I'm gonna take a walk around, and I'll I'll walk with you guys. Or you guys will walk with me. Let's go. So it's time from here. Let's go around. Wait. So the people in the red ones are the ones who work here. And that's a big bird. Are the people who work here. And uh, yeah, they sleep on the outside. Honestly, this is like a super cool experience because the weather is like really good right now. It's like 10.30, 10.40 right now. There's no wind. It's nice, it's peaceful. Honestly, I think today I'm just gonna sit out here after I show you guys the perimeter and just, just chill out here. You guys can just chill with me and we can just stare at these icebergs. So you can see a bunch of people starting to sleep over there already. It's freaking like 1045 dude, there's no way I can sleep right now. You can hear whales talking right now, hold on. You hear that? I mean, that, that's pretty much our whole, the, the entire perimeter of our campground. So now I'm gonna take you guys back to where I'm staying. There we are. Okay, so you've pretty much seen the entire uh, campground. So, but I see my friend over there. I'm just gonna go over there and chill. Let's go over there and sit together and check out the views.
wow so just incredible just right now uh i saw a bunch of people taking photos and then i walked out and i see three orca whales it was so majestic the way they were moving it was really smooth uh, right now it's about 11 30 p.m everyone's already asleep and i'm probably gonna head to bed so i'm gonna go back to the campsite right now Warm in this. It also hopes that there's no wind. 